So did you know that your dog might be able to sniff out different diseases? I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but also a GLP-1 and wellness advocate. So I like to talk about all things health and wellness on my channel. So hit that follow button if you like to hear about all things health and wellness. So a really cool new study from the University of Bristol in Manchester just came out and it was actually using some dogs. Now these dogs were actually trained to sniff out Parkinson's disease. Now this study actually included two dogs. One was a golden retriever and one was a lab golden retriever mix. Now here's my dog and mostly all he does is dig up my plants. But in this study, these dogs were actually trained to sniff skin swabs from healthy patients and from Parkinson's patients and be able to tell the difference between the two. So the reason they could do this is that sebum, which is your skin's natural oil from Parkinson's patients has a unique smell that most of the time only dogs or humans with a super sniffer can smell. So in this trial, one of the dogs got it right 70% of the time, the other dog got it right 80% of the time. But what was even more impressive is that 90 and 98% of the time, they actually ignored the samples from the healthy patients. So Parkinson's actually shows up years before the changes in your brain show up. So early detection could be a total game changer. So this all started when a woman named Joy Milne, who was a super sniffer herself, swore that her husband smelled very different. And this was years and years before his actual formal diagnosis of Parkinson's. And then later, she was actually able to smell other patients and detect their Parkinson's based on scent alone. So research is now building on this knowledge and they're creating some skin swabs that we can then analyze to look for signs of Parkinson's. So probably no dogs are gonna be required for future testing, so all dogs can go back to digging up plants. So imagine a world in which we could detect Parkinson's early and help the progression of the disease. So stay tuned for more, but this is really interesting research and involves cute dogs. So there you go.